Hello, welcome to C# version 6 feature part 9 custom exception class brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session we are going to learn one of the most important feature in the C# version 6 that is custom exception class. And right now we'll learn how to create a custom exception class uh, in the C# version 6 and also we are going to see how we were creating the custom exception class in the C# version 5. And right now uh, first let us deal with the C# version 5 custom exception class. For example, um, the C# version 5 if we need to create a custom exception class what we used to do first we used to create a class uh, and to that class we need to inherit the exception class system dot exception class and there if we if we if we need to write the message property uh, what we, we used to do to that property was we used to override that property and we used to define our own custom exception message or message as we need and that's how we were doing in the C# -sharp version 5 and here is an image which explains you clearly how we were creating a custom exception class in the C# -sharp version 5 right now you can observe your uh, simple code I'm having two variables i and j of return type integer and to the i variable i'm having a value 10 and in the j i have a 0. Uh, what i'm trying to do here is in the try catch block i'm passing the code which catches me which uh, throw me the exception for example here you can check in um, if j is less than 0 then um, j sorry j is greater than 0 then print the result else throw, throw new my exception this my exception is the custom exception what I have written you can observe here where I've defined this I am redefined you at the bottom here is my my uh, custom exception class and that has inherited the exception class and I'm having a property message and what it is telling it is telling like uh, we have written our own custom exception message telling like we cannot divide a number by zero okay L to be very simple what we'll do is we'll jump into Visual Studio and we'll start coding and let, let us create our own custom exception class and I'll go with the same example what I have presented here okay and let me jump here and let uh, here what shall I do is let me create a two variables int i equals 10 okay I have to provide the gap here sorry for that and int j equals 0 and let me use the try catch block to do the work what I'm doing here, I'll make use of if loop. If uh, j is greater than zero, then print the result. I'll do result dividing i divided by j. Sorry, i by j. sorry for that okay fine now else what I have to tell is I have to tell the user um, throw let me use this new keyword and let me create one exception class okay I'm given like a exception but I'm not defined it what shall I do is let me come and define a class of a custom exception class public class the class name is my exception okay let me inherit the exception class to that first okay let me create a property of uh, message string and I have to make it override override and the property name is message okay let me remove the set part okay it has to return a string telling that we cannot divide a number by number by zero that's this is what the custom exception message what I am writing right now and what I'm doing is I'm take I'm making use of this custom exception in the else loop you can observe here throw new my exception okay whenever the exception is caught what is the message I'm going to get I'm getting like we cannot divide a number by zero and by default let me create 
a main exception class and let me pass a message to print how do I use uh, we have a message property in the exception class let me make use of that okay for example let me change the number to to your and let me run the program obviously it has to print the result let's wait for that the build has started and once it is completed let us see what is the result we are going to get right now oh it's sorry uh, the problem here is okay I have to control F5 see the result is 5 okay fine it worked but uh, if I try to divide this 10 by 0 let us see what is the exception is going to catch okay it is still like uh, we cannot divide a number by 0 and this this is a custom message which I created in my custom class in the custom exception class my exception okay this is how we used to do in the C sharp version 5 but uh, let us jump back to the slide let us see how in C sharp version 5 C sharp version 6 we can create a custom exception class but uh, in C sharp version 6 it's very easy to create that custom exception class there is no need to create that class manually what would we do here we created this custom exception class manually and and uh, we did all the other stuffs like inheriting it and writing and uh, creating a property called message but uh, coming to C sharp version 6 it's no necessary of we explicitly creating a custom exception class and it's all that Visual Studio do for us and there is no need to create that class manually we need to use the throw new keyword and create an object by the new keyword for example you can observe here this is the C sharp version 5 and here this is how this is how um, this is the screenshot what I've taken here like I've created like uh, using the throw keyword throw and the new keyword I've created my exception and you can observe in the next slide when I click on this uh, intelligence bulb what is showing us it's showing like for many prop many options for example generate class for my exception console application 2 and right now in this project okay when I click on this first generate class it's going to give me the preview of the code what it's going to generate you can observe okay this is the exception class it's going to generate for me when I click on that uh, option okay later La this is the piece of code this is the piece of custom exception class what it is going to create for me and you can observe now just press enter and that will create a serializable exception class like the following see how, how easy it is how easy it is in C sharp version 6 to create a custom exception class and right now what we'll do is we'll jump into Visual Studio and we'll make use of that wonderful feature of C sharp version 6 and let me get rid of all these methods present here classes present here and immediately when I do that I'll get an exception okay now you can observe here the type or namespace my exception could not be found and when I click on this bulb it is showing me multiple options now when I click generate type class my exception in a new file but I don't want to do it in a new file right now I'll generate the class in this file itself you can observe it is showing me um, <coughs> what it is going to generate also right now when I click this you can observe it generated a custom exception for me okay it is having like the default construct default constructor you can observe here and it's also the parameterized constructor what it is taking it is taking the message property right now what I'll do to this exception let me write a message here telling that we cannot divide a number by zero we cannot divide a number we cannot divide a number by zero okay this is the exception we are I'm trying to print okay this is how the visual C sharp version 6 made the developer life easy by just clicking and um, it made us to create a custom exception class by just the button press and that's what we did you can observe here this is the custom exception class what the Visual Studio offered us and we are making use of that and right now we are making use of the constructor which is taking the message as the uh, input parameter right now uh, what I'll do uh, let me give it as 2 and when I run this it will print like result is equal to 5 but if I try to divide it by 0 okay then our beautiful custom exception message has to be caught right now when I run this you can observe here we cannot divide a number by 0 and that's the beauty of C sharp version 6 and that's how we create a custom exception class and finally um, this is the code what I've written there you can observe here and previous one this is the C sharp version 5 we used to create manually the exception class but in the C sharp version 6 the Visual Studio is going to create a uh, exception class by just pressing the uh, next next buttons and finally it's going to create a custom exception class and 
not but the least uh, don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel anchor training and you can also like our facebook uh, facebook page uh, visiting this url facebook.com slash anchor training and we are also on twitter for further references you, we, you can visit our websites and we are on linkedin too and uh, uh, thank you for listening have a great day and don't forget to give the feedback also